have enough room. Okay. As I say, hopefully I have enough room on my computer. Keeps telling me that I don't have enough room to record things or save things. Or, and I'm like, oh, we've got a problem. <laughs> so um, welcome to the team nurse team call. Happy Monday, January the 3rd. We This is our very first little team meeting of 2022, which seems crazy to say that it is 2022. I was telling Matt the other day that like, I remember being like, see you in 2020 and being like, thinking that was never going to happen. And here we are. So um, I hope everybody had a wonderful new year and a happy Christmas. Um, we are ready to kind of get back in the swing of things. I know I felt like I needed a little breather there at the end. And so I'm excited for the, I mean, to be honest, and I'll just be, you know, very vulnerable with you guys. I'm the most excited I've been about my personal business in months right now. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that I did take a little bit of a rest um, where I have not in the past. I've usually like super pushed um, at the end of the year. And it was really nice. I intentionally took some time and just did some personal development. I shared this with Michelle last week on the call or on Thursday, um, but I've been doing Danielle Laporte's The Desire Map. And it's, um, so every year, and this, we're going to talk a lot tonight just about 2022 and lots of things about it. But um, every year since the beginning of when I was a coach up until Moira created um, the Rise Up Planner. So this is kind of the gold standard for coaches lately. Uh, Moira Kusaba, who was the number one coach last year in all of Beachbody, I think she ended this year at number three, maybe. I don't know. The final numbers haven't come out yet, but I think it's like two or three, something like that. But she created this incredible planner. Um, and it has the whole beginning of this planner is about dreaming and planning. And it's like, what do you want out of your business, out of your life? And I know each of you that I met with individually, um, we kind of went over a little micro version of that. But before that, this was the gold standard for what coaches use. It's called living your best year ever. Um, there is a digital copy of this in our team page in the files section. So if you want to look at this, um, it's an incredible planner. And I don't know that I would consider it a planner as more of like a tracker, but, um, it is an incredible tool to really refine what you want to do. But I think having done this for seven years, I needed something a little different. And I was feeling stale. My personal message was feeling stale. I was feeling stale as a coach. Um, I felt very plateaued. And so a friend of mine suggested the desire map by Danielle Laporte. Um, and so I started working through that. And I have really, it has really helped me kind of regather myself about what do I want out of coaching? What do I, what am I doing here? Why am I like, I was, I had a meeting with Meredith last week too. And I think this might be really appropriate, especially maybe for you, Carrie, but Michelle and even you, Celeste, um, I was talking to her about my vision board and like, I have done a lot of my vision board things. And she was like, well, then you have to update it. And I was like, yeah, but I don't have like, things other than like I'm really happy with where I am I'm very I love my life I love where we live I love our house I love my team I love and she was like yes but she had a really important message and it kind of lit a fire under me and if you guys know Meredith personally you know she's not a yeller she's not a like super passionate in your face kind of person she just kind of tells you how it is and one of the things she said was um, and I even, I even wrote it down because I thought it was so exactly what I needed to hear at the entire time. Um, she said, contentment is great until it leads to complacency. And I was like, oh, ouch. Yeah. Um, that's exactly where I'm feeling like, cause I am so insanely content, but I also know that if I sit in my contentment for too long, it becomes complacency and it becomes, well, I've been doing this so long. Why don't people just come to me? Well, I put the Instagram post out. Why are people not joining me? Well, I mean, obviously we have an elite team. Why are there not hundreds of women coming to join us? And, you know, you don't think that on, like, you don't realize that you're thinking that, but your actions kind of. It's kind of like your rep your reputation precedes you, right? Like your actions precede you. Like you may not actually think that actively, but that cognitive, like the background of your mind is that's exactly what's happening if that's your actions. And so I loved that she just said it in that in that very easy way. And she was like, the nice thing about this business is 
it's perpetual, it's continual. There really isn't any new and different technique. I mean, there's lots of different things you can do, but it's, it's rinse and repeat. And I think for somebody like me, who is, you know, a military spouse, who's always changing things and moving and growing and, you know, shifting all kinds of things, when things don't shift and grow, I'm like, uh, so am I bored? Am I complacent? Am I happy? How do I feel about this? Um, and so, like I said, the desire map has really helped me kind of sort out my thoughts and, and I'm really excited for where our team is going in the new year. Um, and where my personal, you know, just my Instagram platform and my message and what I want to do as a coach. Um, I kept very, you know, it's one of the things you guys know. Um, I love Jesus. I have a very strong faith and my business is led by my faith. Um, and one of those things that I kept being called back to and called back to was my roots in this. Like, why did I start this to the to begin with. And that was my own personal health and fitness journey. And then also because I was really desperate to share with people my newfound knowledge of nutrition and how food and whole food and non-whole food and processed food and non-processed food um, affect your body and what that does. And so I kept being like pulled back in that direction. And finally, you know, like I said, I was talking to Meredith and a couple other people and they're like, well, I don't understand if you, if you know, you're being pulled in that direction, you know, the Holy spirit is leading you. Like, why are you still questioning? And I was like, oh, huh. Yeah. That's kind of silly. Right. Like if you know, that's the direction you're supposed to be moving towards, then it's just fear that's holding you back. Right. And so we've all committed to not living life in fear. And so, um, it's part of, I feel like our team's ethos, what we believe in is that we're not going to be ruled and dictated in, in this life by fear. So, um, that is what you're going to, you know, I'm excited for the first time. I was like, Oh, I'm excited to look at reels. I'm excited to look at what I can do, how I can use this platform to share that message. Um, and so obviously team nourished is a byproduct of the humble beginnings of my own journey and my own kind of growing of this team in that way. So I'm excited for you guys to be able to be a part of that. I'm excited for our team this year. Um, again, I know we've, sh I've shared this several times, but I'm insanely proud of our team for hitting a, or for hitting premiere last year. It is such a beautiful testimony to the momentum of this team that we hit premiere. Um, and I have no doubt that we will hit premiere or elite this coming year as well. But I want to share with you the main message that I want to share with you. And then I'm going to kind of open it up for us to chat and um, kind of help one another with different things in this business um, is that the thing that has moved me forward the most consistently and how do I want to say this? Like feeling most organized, I guess. I don't know if there's really like an English word for that, but like where you feel like you have purpose and intention and like there's a step-by-step -step guide has been the road to elite. And so I know each of you, I got to meet with each of you over the break. Um, and I shared with you kind of what the, what the plan is for our team and what we're going to be rewarding, what we're going to be celebrating the most. Um, but that is the road to elite and checking off new boxes for the road to elite. So I really want you guys to get very acquainted with that. And I know that, you know, like, for example, I'm just going to call Michelle out here. She was, you know, I was like, do you want to hit premiere? Do you want to hit elite? And she's like, I don't know. And I was like, that's not a, I'm not saying that just because you're following the road to elite means you have to hit elite, right? It's kind of like, well, if I'm following I-95, I don't have to go to DC. I can stop in Richmond. I can just see how far I can get along it. You know, it's, it's kind of just a, an incremental measuring guide to actually moving your business forward sustainably. And so that's been my biggest thing that I want to impart to our team is how do we do this and not lose momentum every month or not lose momentum every three months? Like, oh, I pushed and I, I got, I worked really hard and I hit diamond and now I can breathe and now I can take my foot off the gas and I don't need to do anything else because the three of you out of the four on here are diamonds. And so, you know, that that does not help you grow a business. It does not help your income become sustainable. What helps your income become sustainable is helping people help people. And so that's really where I want to focus our, our intentional training this coming year is not only how do you get your message out, but how do you then 
turn that into a duplicatable message that your people that join you have kind of a foolproof plan to be able to, to help other people do that. Um, and like I said, a big part of that, I, I think the biggest, the easiest measuring stick of that is the, um, the road to elite. So if you're in our boot camp, you know, and this is not really, I guess it's kind of a side note, but like, you know, that today I have been very into trackers. I posted three new trackers in our boot camp. They're cute little daily ones. My kids printed them off because they're going to do a little Bible reading plan and that's what they're going to track. And so they're going to color the little bubbles and it's adorable. I got this one from Moira. Um, I really like it. It's kind of a, because I'm waiting on a new planner. I guess I didn't really finish my thing about the planners. I bought a new one. I was excited. Um, Jackie Lamka shared the, um, Christy Wright, the business boutique woman, if you're familiar with her, she's a part of Dave Ramsey's team. Um, I did a business boutique, what is that called, workshop with her, gosh, now four years ago at this point, probably um, five years ago, maybe, I don't know, um, and loved it. Like I loved the way she presents making income at home. Um, I just think that she's fantastic. And so I was like, you yeah, know, I really want to get that planner. So that's what I'm going to be using this year. But in the meantime, I really liked Moira's little high vibe habit sheet. So if you're in my, all of you guys are in my boot camp group, whether you're participating or not, you can download that if you want. It's just kind of a cute little wheel. And it's got like morning process, 20 minutes of personal growth. I scratched out half a gallon and did one gallon because that's better for my body. Um, 30 minutes of a workout, 20 minutes of outside time and meals only, which um, I was like, what does that mean? And then I realized what she meant was like, eat on your meal plan. So not, you're not snacking, you're not doing extras, you're not like chips and guacking it up mid afternoon, if that's not what you planned kind of thing. Um, and that's helpful for me, because that's part of my goal set for the year is to really focus on my nutrition. Um, and so tracking meals only is going to be a helpful part of that. Um, but anyway, so that kind of thing, what I want us to do, and I'm going to screen share, oh, I keep doing that. I'm going to screen share really quick, um, into the coach office. Cause I want to walk you guys around this in case you are not super familiar with this, but the first thing I want to do is kind of get everybody on the same page with the road to elite. So this is last year's, um, Oh my gosh, sorry. My kids are home still. They don't go back to school until Wednesday. So it's kind of, and the Terminex guy's here and Matt's here. And so it's chaotic in my house, but whatever. So this is the road to elite. If you are diamond and above, so Celeste, yours will not have any check marks or anything, but it'll, it should have the, the chart. Um, each one of these check marks is kind of the thing that I want to celebrate you guys for this year. Um, so everybody has the same grid um, and everybody can hit team builder. So um, team builder is like the very beginning of where things start. Um, let's see, I'm going to, it should have like a little, if you hit the about road to elite button, yeah. So it shares exactly what each of those things are. So it, you know, breaks it down here. So team builder is just means you're a diamond, means you have 25 leadership development points. And I'm going to break those down for you here in just a minute. One new emerald in the year, which if you are not already diamond, you getting to diamond is going to check that box automatically. And then your weak leg volume is 1000 TV is team volume, which means your weak leg, your lower producing of your two legs is 1000 points um, or more in any five week period. So as soon as you get, excuse me, that checked off, you, you know, you kind of move on to the next one. And so it's going to change just a little bit for 2022. But if I'm not mistaken, none of this stuff changes. The only thing that changes is how you go up in rank in the, in the whole company. So there's, you hear things called ranking points and things called leadership points. So ranking points are the things that shifted this coming year, mm -hmm. um, which I don't know. To me, I don't think focusing, unless you have some deep desire to be top 200 or top 10, 
don't worry about where you're ranked in the company. It shifts so dramatically from month to month, most times. Um, and then until the end, it really, it really doesn't matter. So I wouldn't focus on rank points as much as I would focus on leadership points. And like I said, I'll break those down for you guys in just a minute. But team leader um, is one star diamond or above 50 leadership points, two new emeralds, or a new diamond, um, and then 2,500 TV on your weak leg. Premier is a two-star diamond plus 75 elite points, one new diamond, and then 4,000 on your weak leg. And elite is five-star diamond plus 105 elite points, two new diamonds, and then 5,000 TV points on your weak leg. So the thing that I get the most questions about, which none of you guys really need to worry about this because none of you have held star diamond for six weeks or more. Um, so literally as soon as you, if you were to hit one star diamond, you would have this block checked off. But I get a lot of questions about like, oh, well, I'm not a five star diamond, but I have two new diamonds. So how do I have this checked off, but not this? Like that's for people like myself or like Meredith or like whoever has been elite before. Uh, all I have to do is hit five star diamond. I don't have to rank advanced to six or 10 or 20 or whatever. I only have to have five star diamond for this block. But in order to become elite, you have to have two new diamonds in that year. So I, I, I think people get a little confused about the discrepancy here. Same with Premier. Like you have to have um, both of those things. It can't be one or the other. And the same for team leader. Um, again, none of you guys have held uh, Star Diamond for six weeks or more. So this really isn't pertinent. But just so you understand for future years, um, if this does not change, if you are not currently one star diamond, you have to have a new diamond. If you were one star diamond, say last year, and you're holding that, just having two new emeralds is enough to check that box. So hopefully that explains that. And then just to break down quickly leadership points, um, um, we'll do it on the other screen because it's easier on that one. Um, can I get a thumbs up if this is making sense to people so far? I don't want to like totally overwhelm you with this, but, and as I, um, again, I know that some of this may feel up here, but all of this is just a byproduct of you building your business. If you continue to focus on building your business, these things happen. Um, there's some strategy to it, but these things do happen. Okay. So when you become a diamond, you have access to this. So this is what, um, I need learning and thinking my mindset needs to change to this. Yes, I would agree. I think the entire company, and this is what I was telling you guys on your one-on-ones, in my opinion, I think the entire company's platform to change to rewarding this and not rewarding rank. Rank is cute. Rank is nice. Rank looks pretty on a ribbon at Summit. Rank does not mean a damn thing about your income. I know people who are a one-star diamond who make over a hundred thousand dollars. And I know people who are a one-star diamond who make $25,000 in a year. So the rank is not indicative of income. There are some pretty hefty milestones along rank that do equal more income, but those two things are not congruent with one another, not always. And so it's more important in my opinion to focus on building your team and building it deep than to focus on, oh my God, can I just get to diamond so I can go to the retreat? Then I don't have to do anything else. Or if I just hit diamond, then I'll have a full-time income. That is not how this works. Um, I want you guys to have really sustainable businesses with this or hobbies. Like I said, if you're not interested in building, you know, a, a full-time income with this, that's also okay. But just know that full-time income I feel like I need to insert beach body disclaimer here, insert beach body disclaimer, but full-time income doesn't mean you don't have another full-time job. Full-time income does not mean full-time hours. Your income is not necessarily synonymous with how many hours you put into this business. It has a lot to do with who your team is and what's going on with your team. And so that's why, you know, it's fun to sign, you know, I was talking to somebody else about this. It's fun to sign somebody up really quick and get them in that spot and get them active so that you can hit your next rank. But if they drop off 30 days later, you did not help them grow. You did not. And I don't just mean grow physically. I mean, or I guess I don't mean just grow in Beachbody, but like 
if you aren't helping them understand the products that we have, if you aren't helping them complete a program and get results, they're not going to stay. The reason this grows, the reason that my business has grown is because I personally love it and continue to get results. That's the only reason I shared it with anybody. That's the only reason I posted online. It's the only reason any of you have ever joined this team is because I get excited about what I'm doing. And that excitement translates into other people. The exact same thing is going to be true for you. The only reason your teams are going to grow is because you get excited and you exude that excitement into other people um, and pour belief into them as well. So just a quick thing about this, and this can get a little heady, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this. Um, if you have additional questions, we can talk one-on-one, -on -one. Um, but I do want to share with you kind of what makes up the points. So like I said, team builder is 25 points, um, 25 leadership points, team leader is 50, premier is 75, elite is 105. So with those things said, what goes into those points? Well, there's max points, there's caps right here, but you really just need to focus on what do I need to do? So acquisition PV, or if you hear people call it APV. So APV happens when you and, when you and your 20, at this point, 2022 coaches help new customers. So if I sign up somebody brand new, that volume goes into APV. If um, I sign up somebody today and they sign up somebody as a customer tomorrow or a, or a preferred customer tomorrow, those volume points go into APV. But here's what I have to say about APV. I have not once ever tracked it and I have maxed it every year. Even when I have not been pushing for elite, even when I have not really had big goals with this, with this company, I have, I have maxed out APV. It is not a difficult thing to do if you are constantly enrolling new people. If you are hitting Success Club six or more every month, I would say probably Success Club 10 every month to, be, to give yourself a little grace room, you will max out with 50 leadership points. Um, it's just kind of inevitable. So I don't track it personally. Um, I, I look at it, but I don't track it. Um, PS Success Club points. That means your coaches that have signed up in 2021 and 2022 that help three people in any given month and you also hit Success Club. So they can't do it and you not do it. You get two elite points for that. If you have a new, per, uh, sorry, now I'm like PS and PC get me confused. A new personally sponsored coach in their first, I usually say in your first 60 days, but the, the real rule is in their first month and then the month after it. So they have to help one person in the month that they enroll or the next month. So the, the best example is all the people that I helped in December, if they all help one person this month, I get one point in that category. If they do not, I no longer get points for them in this category. Does that make sense? Can I get thumbs up or nods or something? If it doesn't, I'll keep, okay. Um, if that new person, so like for example, um, Celeste, when Jonna, when you enrolled as Jonathan um, back what was at November and you signed up your one person last month, I think it was, our team got one. Um, elite point for that. So had you helped two more people last month, we would have gotten a total of three because you get those points from this category and this category. If that happens all in those first two, I, I hate saying month because that makes it sound like 30 days. It's not really 30 days unless they signed up on the first of that month. Um, but hopefully that is understandable. And then, um, you know, you can max out in those points. So if you decided you want to go for elite this year, every single one of you is capable of going elite. Like don't let five star and all of that scare you. If you leaned in and did the work and recruited coaches this year, you could absolutely hit elite this year. Um, it's the brand new, was it the third? I keep thinking it's the fourth, but it's the third. Um, you could totally hit it. So with all that said, you get these points and that is how you 
hit the, where is it, uh, leadership points. That's how you get these check marks. The reason we did not get elite is because this right here did not equal 105. We equaled 82 last year. So if that helps you understand like, oh, well, how did we not hit elite? This, and we did not have our second new diamond this year. Um, so let's see, what else? Um, none of this stuff really matters for the road to elite. And like I said, I would not get tripped up in this. This is, you know, this is the thing that I hear people shouting themselves out for. And they're like, oh my God, I'm, you know, number, sorry, hold on. Matt, can you come here and take this call, please? Yeah, it's the maintenance people. Uh, we want to schedule. A okay, okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Sorry. Um, so anyways, that is how, you know, I want to help you guys get through this and check off team build. My goal for all of you, whether you have that goal or not, my goal for all of you is team leader at least next year. I think that every single person on this call is abundantly capable of team leader in the next year. Um, and with that said, I, the way that we are, our team ha, is going to be incentivizing that is that instead of having rank based retreats next year, we're going to do road to elite based retreats. So my intention is to host a retreat twice next year, once in the summer in conjunction with, um, summit. So we're going to do a house right outside of, I'll probably do Lake of the Ozarks, honestly, since that's right outside of, um, St. Louis. And I have some friends who have an incredibly beautiful lake house there that we would have access to. And so we would be able to have um, a team retreat, a team builder retreat. So if you hit team builder or more by, I think you have to do it by the end of June, I'll have to look and give exact dates and I'll come up with a cute little graphic and everything. Then you'll get excited or you'll get invited to that trip. If you hit team leader by the end of the year, you will get the retreat that will go along with that. I have no idea where that's going to be, but that will be a bigger, like more fancy retreat than like, I mean, Lake Leo's Ozarks is fun and having a lake house is really fun too, but it will be a more like more like the one that we're getting ready to go to in Charleston. Um, so that will be what we do in the next year to reward that. If there are people that hit premiere or elite in this next year, then we will cross that bridge when we get there. Um, and you will be appropriately rewarded. Um, you know, the kind of things that we have done for elite or really, I think if that's the case, then I will get a, uh, what do you call it? I can't, no, I can't think of the name of it. Um, a plus one. There you go. I'm like, what's that thing called? A plus one for leadership. And you would be my guest to leadership in Arizona in October. Um, so that would be really, really fun. And then you would have your own team to be able to do retreats or piggyback with our retreats and do stuff like that. So um, that is basically what I wanted to share about that. And one of the things that I have found very, very helpful is taking a screenshot of that um, road to retreat and filling in the bubbles in, in your house. I think putting that where you do the majority of your work um, will help you keep focused on what you're going to be able to do. And again, I feel like that kind of stuff seems scary, but it's nothing different than just enrolling people like you're doing right now. You just have a better focal point of where you're driving toward. It's kind of like, I loved, um, there was an analogy on a national wake up call one time that talked about like everybody's in the car if the car is you know whatever every if everybody's business is a car everybody's car is going somewhere some people's cars sitting in a parking lot some people's cars driving around aimlessly some people's cars only going from here to costco and some people have a destination and they've got a map and they're gonna get there because they printed off a map I mean that's like map quest days but like they plugged it into their gps and they're gonna drive there but if you're just wandering around and you're like well I kind of hope I get there maybe I'll get there I don't know I mean then I don't know if you'll get there either so um that's kind of how that's worked in the past for me as well so um that was all I really wanted to talk about with the road to retreat or I'm sorry the road to elite this year um, again, I feel like the main thing that I can encourage you guys to do is to print off that, to go through and read just again, because 
I feel like learning is such a multifaceted thing, right? Like it's one thing to watch it, watch somebody do something. It's another thing to put your hands on it. It's another thing to hear something. It's another thing to touch it and read it and, you know, hear it and whatever. Um, I feel like all of those things go into a deeper understanding of something. Um, so with all that said, I, um, kind of wanted to open it up for the last couple of minutes to talk about whatever is going on in each of your businesses. Um, and what was the other thing? There was one other thing I wanted to say. I think that was it. Maybe. I don't know if it comes to me. I'll let you know. I can't remember now. Um, does anybody want to share what's going on in your business as far as like team-wide or boot camp stuff. I would love to ha- kind of have a collaborative thing going on here. Did everybody get started with their programs today? If they were not in the middle of them. Yeah, so I am starting round two of job one just because January is going to be another crazy month for me. So I just feel like it's going to fit best into what I have going on. Yeah. Um, I need to focus on inviting mm-hmm. and going back through posts and just interacting with people more than what I have been in this past month. So I'm going to be doing that. I have a goal to be success club before I leave for Charleston next week. Mm-hmm. So that's where I'm at. I just signed up a lady though over the weekend and I'm really excited for her because I think that she will be interested in coaching. Mm-hmm. She just wants to get the feel of the nutrition program and get the feel of the land before she can commit to something else. Cause she was already kind of overwhelmed by just, um, looking at the to be mindset. Cause that's what she had done the quiz on. And that's what it had, you know, like helped her kind of determine and I think it's a good fit for her Mm -hmm. but I think when she saw the 20 videos she was like oh my gosh this is like too much I was like no 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 like let's break this down you know you only have to watch one or two a day if that's what you have time for you know so we talked about that and set her up with a schedule so I'm hoping within like the next week or two when she gets kind of into the feel of it I'm I'm thinking that she's going to want to share because it sounds like she really wants to try the products and use the products on a monthly basis and she's going to need some income to help her with that. So I'm really excited and hopeful for that. So that's where I'm at. That's exciting, Renee. Is that Jennifer? Yes. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, And she was the one that I had messaged you about. Yes. I figured. Just in case she, she seems to be, well, and I don't know if anybody else is like this and maybe this is just me probably reading more into it and telling myself a story. Um, And she, she was just talking about how like she was asking me, like, are you really had that happy after you do a workout? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> because I feel accomplished. Like, I feel like I can like check something off of my day already, you know? And, um, and she was like, what about like the food? Like, do you really enjoy eating the food? And I was like, yes. I said, are there recipes out there that I would, that I don't pick, even if it's in the monthly meal plan? Yeah. But and then I substitute for something else that I know that I like and that I've tried. Right. So anyways, so it was just kind of funny. Cause I was like, do you not believe me? <laughs> like you tell me that I'm inspiring you, but you're really like doubting me. So anyways, so it was just, just kind of a funny conversation. And then she talked about weight and asked how m- most, like how was the most I ever weighed? And it's obviously not, I'm not c- comparative to her. And I try to remind her that this is her journey, not mine you know, I've also been doing it for six years, you know, there's a difference. Mm -hmm. So, but I appreciate you saying that I can, um, tap into you for a phone call if maybe she needs some reassurance since she was Mm -hmm. going down a similar path of, um, of surgery and things of that nature. So. Right. Well, and that's, I mean, you guys, I hope all of you know, if you ever need, like, I, I mean, I feel like consultation sounds like a, really professional formal word but if you ever have a client who needs a consultation with a nutritionist or with somebody who has a different experience than you have I feel like number one I am available to you but also know that our entire team is available to you I've had and I know I've shared this with you guys before I've had lots of conversations where people are like well I don't really feel like I have a team 
And I'm like, well, you may not have enrolled a few people, but you have a team because you have team nourish. You have a team because you have soul warriors. You have a team because you have set your soul on fire. Like plug in and get acquainted with the people that we work with and utilize them. So if my story is not your story, it's like I was talking to Michelle about this. You know, her main goal is tracking macros and building uh, muscle and reducing body fat percentages. Just because my story isn't that doesn't mean that A, I can't help or B, there's not someone on one of our teams that is incredibly adept at it. So just know that you have all of the access that you want to have. Um, I had another conversation with somebody else and this is kind of something I wanted to, I don't know if I was going to post about in the team page or just talk to you guys about it or what, but like don't ever get to a place where you think you know everything there is to know about this and you need to stop showing up on training calls. Like I've been doing this for seven years. I still listen to the national wake up call every single week. I still plug into either our team call or a different team call. I get on some of the together rising calls or watch the replays. Like there's never a point in time where it, like we were talking about, Um, and I don't know, Megan and Renee, you guys got on a few minutes late, but I was telling them I had a conversation with, um, Meredith. And one of the things she said really stuck with me, like contentment is wonderful until it leads to complacency. And that's not what we're here to do, right? Like we're not here to become complacent. And so that is true in your business. It's true in your body. It's true in your mindset. It's true in your marriage. It's true with your parenting. Like contentment is wonderful until you're complacent. Um, And so I think that pushing yourself out of your comfort zone continually is where you're going to continue to grow in that. So Renee, I think that's wonderful. Like, like I've mentioned to you before, I'm happy to meet with her. Or if you want me to ever pop into your challenge group and do a little live video about nutrition stuff, I'm happy to do that for Carrie, for Michelle, for Renee. Like I know you guys all run your own group. So I'm always happy to do that. Um, And become more of a collaborative effort between all of our, all of our teams, our bigger ones, smaller ones. Um, Really quick. The other thing I did think of what I wanted to do, I wanted to talk to you guys about the flow of our team calls, because I'm going to be doing something a little different this year. Like, obviously we're doing it at a different time. It's now Monday at 8 PM Eastern. Um, But I'm also going to be doing a, a flow. So each, like the first Monday is always going to be some like something specific. Second Monday is always going to be something specific. We had talked about the third Monday of the month being a, um, a, a leader led power hour. So the third Monday of every month is going to be a power hour. And if you're not familiar with what a power hour is, Um, it's where you get on and you work with other people. So we'll either do a guided one or the leader that's leading it will, uh, lead you in one, but it's basically, we're all sitting here working on our beach body businesses, inviting, doing all of the stuff that you typically like push off and don't do and make excuses about why you don't have time to do them. Um, but that's going to be the third Monday of every month. We're also going to have a, um, guest speaker once a month as well, because I do so highly believe that I'm not the authority on this, like, and neither are you and neither is Meredith. Like, I think we're all the authority on it together. We're so much more powerful, um, together. And so I'm going to be booking different speakers to come in every month. Um, but I would like to hear, um, and just take yourself off mute. What would, what do you want out of these calls? Like, if you got to design the calls and you got to get what you wanted out of them, what do you want out of our team calls? And if you don't take yourself off mute, I'm going to take you off mute. I think power hours will be very helpful. Okay. I really like that idea. Okay. I also think that guest speakers from different you know, like backgrounds and things of that nature, I think is also helpful. Like you had that full-time working Mm -hmm. coach, you know, a couple, a while, a month or two ago. And then if there was maybe a coach that, you know, I mean, just like, I think if we can, if you could find coaches that kind of fit like the different lifestyles that we have on our team or actively on our team would be, would be helpful because I think at least then somebody can always identify 
I mean, you can always identify with any guest speaker, at least about something. I truly believe that. Right. But you, they might be able to identify more, I guess, right. if they were like somebody, you know, there was a teacher or somebody that would like kind of fit more in the realm of like Carrie's background, you know, or maybe another military coach for Michelle or, you know, whatever, whatever it may be. Right. No, thank you for sure. Dan Danielle's trying to force me to talk and I don't have anything to say. Well, what do you want out of a team call? Like, what do you feel like you're lacking in training or that you need to move yourself forward? Mm. I don't know. I mean, I struggle with the most was just inviting. Okay. So physically sitting down and making time to invite or like having somebody or one of us talk about what we're doing to invite. What do you mean? Or both? Um, I, well, I guess it's kind of leading up to inviting, like making the connections with people that I don't know in real life. Okay. I like that too, Michelle. I like the, the, the connections. I'm not always really 100% sure how to approach people that just like my stuff, but we don't really ever talk or have any other communication. Like, how do I make that authentic and genuine, I think is where I struggle with, because I don't want that, I, don't, I feel like, again, I'm probably telling myself a story, but I don't want them to think that I'm just fake. Like, I really may be actually curious about something, but I feel like they're going to be like, oh, she's just reaching out because she does a beach party coach. When I really may truly just be curious, <laughs> but I have that like in the back of my head. I also really thought that going through the back office today mm -hmm. was helpful. So maybe just picking different pieces of the coach office okay. would maybe be helpful. And that doesn't necessarily need to be maybe be every month, right. but maybe it can be like, you know, every other month you know, or maybe we focus in when there's, you know, new people, maybe we go back through some of that back office stuff. Cause I think sometimes the back office can be really overwhelming okay. and not always know like how to find things or to search things. And I think it's always nice to use the, and I'm not even going to say it right, but the tool about where you can break down, like what subscriptions people have. Yes. Like when they're coming due, mm -hmm. I don't use that nearly enough as what I should. Okay. And that's the thing that I think would be, is always a helpful refresher. Yes, no problem. That's super helpful feedback, Michelle. And I think that's a, yeah, I think that's a good suggestion, Renee. And I, like, I, I think you give us lots of valuable tools. So it's really hard to come up with something that we're lacking because you give us all the things. Um, I need like a hot poker in my behind to push me to do them. And um, you can't do that. So <laughs> it's, it's got to come from me. You know what I mean? So I think you give us the tools. But I, like Renee, like I struggle with, the invitation that isn't some scripted thing and sounds super scripted and it doesn't feel genuine. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like I just, I don't know. I struggle because I get those from other people oh. all the time. And okay. I'm like, please don't text me and tell me like you're my BFF and you've got this great product for me. And I could yeah. pass you on the street and you will not speak to me. So like, I don't, I don't want to be that person. No. And totally. so that's where I struggle. I don't want you to be that person. It's yucky. <laughs> I don't appreciate it either. Um, I will say it is always mind boggling to me when I have someone, hold on, please. There's a spider. God bless it. Ah! I hate them. I hate them. I didn't get him either. And that makes me hate him even more. <laughs> He's little, but I don't like him. Um, yeah, no, I, I know exactly what you mean. I was going to say, I feel like it's mind boggling to me because sometimes I will be inviting and I am sending somebody something. I don't, I don't ever like randomly spam people. Like I haven't had a conversation with you, but like maybe you and I have not had a conversation in six months. And, um, you know, I send a message. It's like, hey, Megan, hope you guys had a great New Year's. Um, just wanted to let you know that I have a January boot camp and still have some spots open. Is that something I can send you some information on? I know you and I have talked about it in the past or not sure if you're interested. We've never talked about this before. And then having people be like, yes, please send me information. And then them signing up the same day. I'm always like, well, that is something, isn't it? 
<laughs> um, so yes, I do. I do like that um, a lot and really talking about forging deeper connections. Okay. Carrie, you're the only one who hasn't talked. Um, I'm not sure what else I learned. But... Oh, your audio is yucky. What's wrong with your audio? Oh, it's your headphones. Yes. I don't know why it does that when I have AirPods in. I don't know why that's okay. Are those the ones you found in the creek, though? No, these are brand new. Oh, okay. Then I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Um, no, I just said I'm not sure like what hasn't been touched on. Um, sometimes I get on the um, so I don't know what they're called, Slay Squad or yes. I, I don't know where it's just more like. I guess, or the ones that I've been on, I guess, per se, are just more like inspirational mm -hmm. kind of deal. Okay. Um, I don't know, because sometimes that just helps fuel me even more, like, because that's like the kind of stuff we get at like Summit and, mm -hmm. and live events. Right. More so than like, I don't know, like we, we have all the tools and we no i understand what you're saying um the other thing that i was thinking to um to help sorry there is a a gaggle of children and my daughter's in the middle of them screaming so that's super cool um, the other thing, and I would, I just am curious about your feedback about this, because if part of our job is supposed to be doing, um, personal development, what if one of our calls each month was kind of sitting around the table figuratively, um, and talking about what we've gained the most in that month from our personal development, that way, hopefully maybe a, it holds you accountable, for, like almost like a book club, but sorry. Um, almost like a book club, but we're reading different books. Because, I mean, obviously we're not all reading the same personal development book. Would that be something that you would get, you feel like you might get something out of? Um, you're going to have to repeat all of that because my computer froze. Oh, oh maybe it was my computer. Um, I was saying like, what if we did kind of like a book club every once a month, one, one of the Mondays every month. Um, and we just went around and shared what we've got, you know, like what book we're reading or what book we read and what we got out of it in the last month of, you know, reading and doing personal development. Cause I think that might help us become more accountable to one another with personal development. Cause I know, you know, talking to each of you, that was something that each of you said that you needed to work on is personal development. Um, and I feel like it's something that we might all either, like, even if you've already read the book, you might be reminded about something, or if you, you know, haven't read the book, you're like, Oh, I liked what Carrie shared about atomic habits. Maybe that'll be my next book. Um, would that be something that would be interesting or like meh? I think so yeah <laughs> I think that will help me be accountable yeah plus I think it will help like for me like the two um the two books that Santa brought me my stockings <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> was the atomic habits and uh, I have it with me because I was going to read if I had time, but I don't know if I'll have time. Was the, um, you are a badass. Is that what the, is that what it's oh, called? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are a badass. And those were just two that I kept hearing over and over in here are people talking about. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do those. So if there was other books out there that people like one or two of you were like, this is really beneficial. Then I would be like, okay, well, you know, Carrie and Michelle said they liked this one. So maybe I should pick that one up, you know, that kind of thing. So yeah. maybe. Oh, we can try it for a few months and see if it goes okay. I mean, I, it's something that I feel like one of the things that I've always wanted is to be able to do like a book club with our team where we're all reading the same book and we all talk about it. But the reality is we're all very different people. And I never like book clubs where, 
Oh my gosh, excuse me a second. I need to parent for a moment. Okay, so I'll ask you ladies, because I was going to ask, I only have 1%. So if my phone dies, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to like, be rude. Um, but what do you guys, this is probably more geared towards Carrie and Michelle, since I've never been to Summit or on a retreat. What are some things that I need to pack? Um, <laughs> yeah, Danielle will probably give us a list too of like specific stuff. Yes, hello, what was the question? Why do I have to parent? I went off on a totally different tangent. I was asking what I was supposed to pack for the retreat. Oh yes, I will give you like a suggested packing list, but um, workout clothes, your pajamas that you were sent. Um, I don't know, I'll send you a list. It, nothing fancy, nothing. I don't think you'll wanna get in the ocean or a pool I mean maybe you do but like I think it'll be cold um so that kind of stuff um yes I was finishing up the itinerary today so hopefully I'll be able to give that to you guys tomorrow and give you the packing list in the itinerary so I'm, I'm really excited about it we have both Moira and Aaron coming to speak which makes me really happy they're both they ended up both in the top 10 this year um, and having Moira come lead a meditation and vision in the morning on Saturday is going to be really, really cool. I'm really excited to have that. So, um, and Aaron is going to be talking all things compensation and growing your business um, financially and income. So I'm really, really stoked about that as well. Um, but yeah. Okay. Anyways, the thing about the book club, just, I don't like forcing people to read certain amounts by a certain amount of time. Like, I don't think that's helpful or productive. Like, okay, well, you have to read this chapter by now. And we all got lives, like read what you can read. Um, but yeah, okay. Well, I will, and I will put a post out on our team call about that as well, or not our team call, our team page, just about what the flow is going to be. So um, very good. Well, we are right up at time and my phone is gone. So Carrie, are you on your phone? Are you on your laptop? Can you take a little boomerang for us since Matt took my phone? My phony. Let me get it. a cuter filter. Whoa. Find a cute filter because I have not showered. And I'm not going to. Is that jujitsu? And I don't want to shower. Are you going to be there this week, Celeste, do you think, or still no? No. Okay. Uh, now the trick is to get everybody in the picture and not move my phone. All right, ready, set, go. Okay, got it. <laughs> Bobble heading around. Well, thank you guys for hopping on. I appreciate you. Please carry tag everybody um, or just text it to me and I'll tag everybody. Um, but I will see you back here next Monday. Tell your teams, tell your people to hop on. Um, and we will talk then. Bye, guys. Bye. Good night.